How are you going? It is Nadine here and this is my channel Project Nade. So something that has started my love for cars is one tonners. I have always wanted a one tonner since I was very, very little and I had pictures on my wall of one tonners. I think I had toy ton on my wall. I'll insert a picture here. Um, so this video is all about the 50th anniversary for the HQ one tonner. So the first HQ One Tunner came out in 1971, so 50 years ago this year in 2021. My One Tunner is not quite 50, it is a 1973 model, but I thought I would create a 50 years for the HQ One Tunner, but it's gonna be really only about my One Tunner, where I started wanting a HQ One Tunner, getting it and its journey, everything I've done from doing stuff to the car, my family helping me, going to events, what I have done with this car. Um, I absolutely love it and I just want to share its journey. So enjoy. So let's start with the day I got my HQ1 Tana. So she was white. This is her in really original condition. I haven't changed anything since I have picked up this car. So same doors, bonnets, guards, cab, um, same grill. It has been painted, but as you can see, she is in a little bit of a rough state and the previous owner had changed the dash to a VN dash. So that's where it starts. So the next stage for Belle, she was sent to the painters. She was there for quite a while um i guess priority was not for this car it was a smash repairer so they would churn through stuff jobs that are more insurance jobs so time he got to bell i was really annoyed by how long he took um i was yeah really annoyed but he did an okay job um i'll say okay the paint lasted well for a couple of years but there are now issues showing um, so she will be due for another paint job soon, but here's some pictures of the first time she got painted yellow. So building the tray. Um, my uncle built the tray at home. It is a brilliant tray. I absolutely love it. It's got the hidden rails under it. Here's a couple of photos of the process of the tray build. Um, I just love this tray. It suits the look of the ute. It is workable, but it still looks cool. Um, it was a family effort. Even my nan joined in and painted the tray up. And I'm just very thankful that I have an awesome family who's helped get to this car to where it is. And hopefully it's got many more adventures ahead. But this is the start of the tray. So the grill got painted and so did the badge. So this is now my paddle pop line on my Montana. So for those wondering, Bell had a VN Commodore engine when I purchased her, a little V6 as I was on P plates. Um, I needed something legal so I was still able to drive it. Um, that was the first one. The engine then blew up and it's had a second one. So the one that's currently in the car now is the second engine. So I hopefully that one will come out and a new engine will be going in soon. New wheels. So I was looking on the internet for a really long time as I was unsure what I wanted to pick. Um, I didn't want something full on chrome but I came across the Junkyard Dogs, the Boyd Connington wheels, as I saw them on one of his TV shows. Um, I absolutely loved the look. I thought they'd be something that would suit the Tana really well, and they do. And I have recently just had these wheels fixed because I absolutely love them. Barrels Bros in Sydney did a fabulous job on fixing the dent in them that I got when I was traveling to work hit a pothole and yes, I'm so amazed by the work they've done and I hope to keep these wheels for many more years. Belle's first car show. So Belle's first car show was the day that I popped on the new wheels. It was a event somewhere in Gladstone up in Queensland and it was a little event, a couple of cars and I just was really happy to get that tunnel out. 
So I just want to add in a huge thank you to my family, especially my uncle who helped um, build a lot of that car. And I just want to say thank you. And hopefully we've got plenty more adventures and builds to go with this tunner yet. So I named my tunner Belle after the Disney princess in Beauty and the Beast. I absolutely love that movie. It is one of my favorite Disney movies. And I thought it was very fitting because I decided to pick Holden Hazard Yellow. I believe it may be around 2012 when the color was released. I saw it in a car yard and decided that my tunner one day will be that color. So I've decided I want to add in some more photos. Um, I don't have a lot of videos from the past. I've done them mainly photos. So I want to show that this tunner has been my daily for many years. It has been a workhorse. It is towed horses to a lot of my horse show events. It has done brilliant. Um, it's had a load of stuff on the back of its tray. It, it's picked up my very first real Christmas tree. I absolutely love this car and I just want to show that it has been worked. So in 2016, I decided to enter Bell into my first Ute show. I decided to do a 10 plus hour round trip from the Central Coast to Wagga back to the Central Coast to go home. Um, Bell is actually originally from Wagga, so that's kind of why I wanted to go. And I also wanted to see how well I would go at a Ute show. I've never been to one before. Um, and I decided let's go and enter her into this event. I believe I only entered in two or three classes and I placed in two or three of those classes. I actually got a second for both those classes. So I got a second in the chicks ute and I got a second in the street modified ute. So let's fast forward to 2018. It is Summonats 31. It is my first Summonats event taking my own car. I was really excited until the night before. I had a panic attack probably around the same time this photo was taken because I didn't have a tail shaft loop. And so my uncles pulled an all-nighter to get my car ready and I am so grateful, but I was definitely having a mental breakdown during that night. <laughs> So in 2018, I also got my first Polaroid uh, camera for Christmas. Um, a lot of the photos for summer nats I took were on my little Polaroid. So here's a couple of videos of my Polaroids. So this photo is taken on the way down to Canberra coming from Sydney. The next one should be staying at the caravan park the night before entering Scrutineering down in Canberra. The next photo is the lineup in scrutineering once I got into the shed. It was a massive line, had all my gear on the back ready for my couple of days at the event. This is the guy who put on my stickers and I also took some photos of my stickers on the car because I knew I was going to take them off. I didn't want to keep them on. Um, after that is parked up at the tents at the event. I really like this photo because it's a lineup of all these yellow cars and it's my favorite color. So my tray got a lot of marks on the way to the event and I wanted it to look nice. So I decided to re-lacquer my car at the most dusty event in the world. <laughs> so I wanted to have a go at being judged. I knew I wasn't going to get into the elite hall or anything. I just wanted to experience the event. I also wanted them to appreciate my re lacquered tray. I'm joking. But I took some photos. Uh, my brother actually took some photos of me going in, thanks to him. And one of my favorite photos is this one of this guy, really enthusiastic, because I was probably enthusiastic. And it's still one of my favorite photos of the event. It's just hilarious. I don't know who this person is, it's just brilliant. So in 2018, I relocated and moved out here to Bathurst. So these are some of the photos of my first day out here in Bathurst on my Polaroids. So two or three years ago now, I went out to Wellington and had a go at drag racing for the first time. I had a great day, Mick and I went out together. Um, first time ever doing this, I had a really good time and the people there were awesome to deal with. 
So while you watch a video of me inserting a battery into Bell, I just want to explain that coming to the end of my video, I just want to add a couple of my favorite photos I have taken recently of Bell. And they're going to be mainly around the Central West area as that's where I am now. Um, so enjoy and thank you for watching the video if you've gotten this far. I absolutely love this car and I don't know if I will do a actual 50th anniversary video once this car does turn 50. So it's not that far away and enjoy a couple more photos. So what is next for Bell? Next thing is to go to Targa Tasmania. I want to go to this event so badly. I think it would be a great event to go to. It's something I've always wanted to do and to take Bell would be a dream. I've really wanted to go since um, Eric Benner's Love the Beast movie came out. I just don't want to do the crashing part but it's something I want to go with my family, I want to go with Michael, and I think it'd be a really fun time. So that I'll, that's my next plan. Get a new engine, get rid of the VN, and do some maintenance work, like change parts, new brakes, all that sort of stuff. But that is the next plan for Bell.